So we are speaking with Juan de Leon uh, just a few days before a fight with Vladimir Klitschko. Right after your uh, official press training, and you looked very relaxed. And uh, you uh, had Vladimir cat face on pets. What for? Well, you know, I say from day one, you know, Vak is the best friend of him. I just want him back, you know, everywhere we go with uh, with uh, to training, you know, um, we bring Vlad with us, you know. So you could see in the ring, you see when Vlad saw the the, the, the hand pad, he was like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? So he was surprised, but this is the way we are, that's the way we work. This is no promotion, this is for real, you know. So I want Vlad hit him hard because he disrespect me when he uh, spoke with one of you, colega, about Juan de Leon, Berry, and Emmanuel Stewart, you know, before he passed away, you know, and that's hurt me because when you interview me, I believe what I say was that Emmanuel Stewart is a good friend of the family and he always talked good about us highly and he, he put it in a different way because he wanted to look good. He wants to look like the sign, like he's, the, like, like he's an innocent, you know what I mean? But I believe um, um, he used me to make him look good. Now I got to let him know that he's a liar because I never say so. I would like to you post to my interview. If you, can you make that commitment with, with me? Can you post the interview in Facebook and as well you in, his interview and this one? Like if people see that I never talk bad about Emmanuel too, I don't because you know what? Past two people, past a friend of my good close of mine, we cancel. And this is not a joke. Sickness. It's, it's bad. As well, baby Joe makes his mother pass too. And this camp, I lost my mom. And he disrespect me, you know. That's hurt me because, you know, I, I, I love this game. And, and, and Manuel Stewart for me is, is the, one of the greatest, you know what I mean? And, I, and like I say, I had respect for Emmanuel and he touched me hard when he said that I was, you know, having fun on Emmanuel Stewart. This will hurt me for real, you know, because I learned from Emmanuel Stewart a lot. If you watching Baby Joe Macy fight, he always talk highly about me and my brother. And when a person talk to you like that, you cannot wish nothing bad than only luck to, you know, the everything, you know, become good for him. I was praying for him and he joked with this. He used Emmanuel's name to put me down and I don't like that. And now, you know, he gonna pay on the, November 10th, he gonna pay because every time Vak punch him, Vak gonna punch him double. One for him and one for me. And he, every time he go there in the middle and Vak hit him, I want Vak, uh, uh, you know, blow his brain. You know what I mean? Because this is a game where you expose your life. This is a game where you know, really, really, you don't come here just to have fun and push in here, punch there. You expose your life. My kid exposed his life fighting with him, as well him too. And then when he talked to me like that, now we are in a serious business now. We don't want to play no game here in Germany, you know, because that's why he only want to fight here. He want to fight small guys. He don't want to fight, you know, a real man. Now he's going to face a real man. And they taking advantage, you know, by, by James Bashir, you know, came and told Black, pick up fuck now because in a, in, in a couple months from now you're not going to beat them, but it's too late for them because I, my, my pronostic, my pronostication uh, was only, you know, 18 months. If you come from since, November, since April 15 to November 10, it's, um, it's 18 months and my, and, and, my, and, my, and, and, and my destiny and everything is going to happen because, you know, what? I do this song with love. Money is money, but I do doing this song with, with back with love because I love this game. And I like one, we're going to make money too, but I love this game. I want to help the kids. You know, I want the kid to do good, do great. And when he used me to make him look good, that's not good. You, he playing with some people hard. He don't know, you know, like I said, I passed my mom, my daughter, you know, first baby, do, a daughter born on, on, on August 12th, Janaya. Keishla, my daughter, have a baby, you know, Janaya, born on, she delivered the baby on August 12th. My wife, Sandra, my little angel, my Juan Carlos, my JJ, all my family, you know, suffered because I've been in camp for 12, I mean, uh, um, five months we back already, you know what I mean? And I sacrificed birthdays. My, my daughter, my mom, I went only when I get, when I get to Buffalo, five minutes before I get to see my mom, she passed. How you think I, I, I feel? And this camp, this camp is an emotional camp for me, and I was, I was well for him, and he using me, and I don't like that. And he's going to pay the price in the day that we know when, when Vak face him. Because every time I told Vak, it's like, I, I, just, I just want Vak destroyed him. Let people know who's Vlad, because he don't want to fight in the state because he's scared. Always complain about they put something in the water, that they did something to him. He's a fucking scared person. He don't want to fight a real man. 
Emmanuel Stewart, you know, God bless him, rest in peace. He protect him all, of, all the time. But you know what? RTL, the TV, TR, what's it? RTL. RTL, they're sick and tired already, you know, for him. By being fighting, you know, lazy, bushy fighters. Tell him to face the reality. That's what he need to do. Face the real fighters. Because he, he avoids the fighters. He in Europe, but they got all the good fighters that want to face him. And he don't want to face those big guys. Because he's scared. That's where he is. And he hurt my feeling bad. 